love these little Chemex cups, these mugs. I really like these. So I was going on a vacation this year, and I said, you know, I typically take my AeroPress with me, which everybody knows I love my AeroPress. And I said, eh, I just want to try something different. And I love the shape of these Chemex mugs. So I said, how could you take this, which it's not, it's not designed to do one pour over. It's designed to just be a mug that you drink out of. But I said, well, what if I took a number four cone filter and put it in there? Well, you can see that doesn't fit well. And if you get it down in there, it's actually going to be down in the coffee. That didn't work. So then I said, well, how about a flat bottom? So I took a Chemex, the larger of the two, flat bottom, put it in there. Woohoo! Now we're cooking. So I brought a kettle with me, which was not a gooseneck, and I brought pre-ground coffee. I know, you're going to get all over me about the pre-ground, but hey, you're on vacation. And this was a road trip, so I was in a car. I was not on an airplane. So I found that I tried this at the office before I left. Pre-moisten it like you do. Right? Do that. Don't bit. Put that back. Get water all over the floor doing it. I put in about a scoop and a quarter. These are kind of big scoops. And I found, <laughs> I found uh, you got to kind of hold it because it will have the tendency to take off <laughs> and land in the bottom of the cup. I had that happen. I turned around and there's my filter. It had gone all the way down to the bottom of the cup. But hey, I was on vacation. I'm not going to get all serious about it. So then I did a typical pour over. Pre-moisten the coffee, let it bloom as you typically would for that 30 seconds or so. I didn't have a hot plate. I had a uh, temperature control kettle. But without the gooseneck, boy, I noticed it made a huge difference. The gooseneck is so nice for something like this. Then when I got back, I thought, well, what about the th one to three paper filters, the flat fold ones that Chemex has? Why not put that in? Well, you can see if I put that in there, that goes right to the bottom of the cup. So that didn't work either. So I still say the Kalita flat bottom was the way to go. So you just do your typical pour over. Keep adding your water. and let it do its thing. And you can see, <laughs> it works. <laughs> I had good coffee every morning. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't have to uh, persevere the ever-popular hotel coffee. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So here it is. I've done my pours. There's the <laughs> end result. All I did was take the filter then in the garbage. And there was my coffee for the day, for the morning. And <laughs> I can always get half and half, no matter where I go, but I can always get good coffee. It's hot. Mmm, that's nice. So that's what I did. Check it out on our uh, website. Any feedback on that one, I'd love to hear it. <laughs> I'm sure we'll have some comments on that. And uh, give us any suggestions you might have about different ways that you brew when you travel or even at home. Let us know. Check out the link below. Mm -hmm.